Hey guys, it's October the 3rd. It's uh, only about three weeks from me um, going away for a week for, for my wedding. So we've got to really start taking over in all different ways. Um, also in the meantime, we've got to make sure that we keep the company alive with enough money coming in to pay for everything. Um, because there is so much uncertainty again in the world and unknowns and people are not spending money um, in Australia and other Western countries. So, you know, the income's dropping dramatically. Um, spoke to other people last night that own quite large businesses and they're trying to predict how to make decisions over the next few months. No one can know the future, but we're just sort of making our best estimate. So, you know, it's all about making good decisions over and over again to reach to us a goal eventually. So, um, in your life, you know, if you're making good decisions with your kids constantly, you know, like, every single day you're consistent <clears throat> with making good decisions eventually you lead to a good outcome you may make one or two mistakes but hopefully those mistakes aren't um, um, going to bring it all to an end you know? so um, same here let's make good decisions every single day um, any of the things that we're implementing or i'm implementing please implement it straight away um, and yeah we ha have a lot of cool ideas that want to get out there um, so it's it's Monday today, um, a lot of the new ideas that are coming out will be implemented while I'm not even here, so um, for the week uh, or two, so we'll have to get the team to take over that. Um, not an easy task. Um, I'm seeing so many impressive things with the team, like looking at um, the team that's taking over operations right now, um, it's just very impressive what, what people are doing, um, which gives me hope that we really need to get to this end destination, this end goal and um, as soon as possible. So the more I think about it, the more I think that end goal is a great thing for us, for society, for consumers out there, which is the Uber style sense of plumbing and roofing and all that kind of stuff. Um, so we are becoming a technology company at the end of the day, um, but also doing the physical work. So a mix of all worlds, you know, so we can't have one without the other. Um, so, one of the things I've noticed in the last 24 hours is people's cope, coping, coping mechanisms, like how do you cope through life? So some people stress out because they got the wrong ice cream or something delivered to their house. Like, oh my god, they get so angry, they get so stressed out. So the, the coping mechanism, um, the ability to cope with things, you know, some people get, um, some people are the prime minister, president of the, you know, the country. and they seem like they're coping okay. So there's a lot of stresses. Every single day they're making decisions about society and people and things that could affect everyone's life. So um, for them to be able to cope through that is quite impressive. So I think someone that can cope through many things is end of the day going to be more consistent, stay relevant in the world and eventually get to their goal. So when you aim for a goal, when you go through a forest, when you're trying to get to the end of the forest, there's going to be unknown things come through. And how are you going to cope with it? It's not just walking, it's not just having some kind of protection, there's going to be other things, unknown things happening. So you have to be able to cope with things to um, get through. So I want you to ask yourself, okay, if you're feeling stressed or if you're feeling you know, not good about things, go, okay, do I need to improve my coping? Do I need a new perspective shift? Do I need... Do I, do I have to somehow cope through this? Um, that's one thing I've noticed. So, how much can you cope through? So, you know, there's a direct correlation with how much you can cope through to how much you are able to be succeed or be relevant in the world. You know? So, and success and relevancy is almost a correlated thing. So, if you look at the markers of something that's successful, it also means how relevant are you in the world? If your kids are successful, are they independent people that can make decisions without you, um, which is relevant in the world? You know, are you financially successful? It means, are you relevant in this world? Are you producing something that the world wants? Are you, are you something that the world wants? So that's the coping mechanism I've noticed. Um, I still, you know, we still have a lot of doubts in society of where things are going. 
you know, will the wars get bigger? Will the economic crisis get worse? You know, there's all sorts of weird stuff happening. So, and end of the day, we do notice in our company people are spending less. So there seems to be a bit of truth to all that kind of stuff. Um, but again, we have such good stuff and such good things happening in the company. I don't want to reduce the company. I want to keep it going the best we can. So everyone, push the best you can out there in everything that you do. Push, you know, if you're in the office. Help the plumbers out there, you know, with everything that you can, from the sale to the projects to everything else. Or vice versa, plumbers help the office, you know, and um, in just every department, whether it's accounts or legal and everything else, and um, just there's even legal's been doing okay with the new team that started and they've jumped on quite quickly and really really helping us there. Um, and that's about it. Just um, yeah, just take on a, a really positive attitude to things I guess um, because um, you know you can, you can have the like I guess I don't know how to draw a picture about this but you can have the best life ever but still be upset like I can be watching you know there's a bit of a sunrise happening this morning and everything's quite peaceful and I've got a nice everything nice around me <clears throat> but I can still be upset inside so just because the world outside and you've got everything or you don't have everything so you could have nothing in the world and still be quite happy or you could have everything and still be upset so you've got there's a, there's a big difference between those two worlds so just remind yourself okay in this moment am i unhappy because there's something to be unhappy about or is there am i looking at it wrong can i look at it in a different way can i find the positive positivity in the situation so yeah you know what's happening out in the world you know whether you've got a nice house car you've got you know peaceful nice place to sleep or whatever you want or you know great family and all this kind of stuff those things um, you would think would make you peaceful and happy and fulfilled but sometimes internally you're upset you're angry you can't find peace it's a totally different world the outside world and the internal world are almost um, separate, almost. You know? It can seem like that. So, um, if you are sitting there going, "I'm unhappy," going, "Maybe let's try to look at. Maybe I'm looking at this wrong. Maybe I am okay. Maybe everything is okay. Maybe I can be happy with things." Right? So, um, and if you are really upset, um, then you can sort of go, "Okay, what in the world is going wrong? What in the world can I be happy about?" And um, yeah, that's about it. Welcome to Monday, and let's win this week. You know, like um, just put your best out there, and let's have a cracker one. You know, we do have something special going on with what we have as a company. I think we do have a big, bright future where everyone gets paid well, company runs well, we are prosperous, we do a great service to the world, society, and I think. Um, we really need to get there. Well, you know, in my mind, I'm really, really going to keep pushing towards this goal, and um, um, and hopefully everyone is there for the ride. You know, we don't lose people on the way if we have lack of income and all that. Because that's my biggest worry right now, which is we, there isn't enough income to sustain the company. You know? So do what you can to get in income in any way that you can. Again, if you're an account, or you know, restructure the accounts to make it. Um, uh, easier for the debt team to chase money, legal team do all the VCAT cases, we've got lots of stuff going on, we've got operations, just push it every single corner. Imagine there was 14 people like me in operations, how much money would we make? Um, you know, help the sales plumbers as much as you can, let's do everything that we can and let's make it well. Thank you.